Hello ladies and gents, my name is Carl Feldman and today I'm going to be showing you how to connect Microsoft Sentinel to the Microsoft Defender XDR portal and where you can see basically all the alerts in either cons console where you can just go to one place and see all alerts rather than just flicking through both and it's just more easier and more efficient way to work so i will start in the portal.azure.com and what you want to do is search sentinel and then click through and what you want to do is create a microsoft workspace and what you do is create microsoft sentinel you click to create microsoft sentinel and you want to create a new workspace create new we're just going to call this testing we're just going to call instant detail test 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 just that and then we're going to create and review C click create just wait for it to deploy deployment is in progress just wait for it to deploy it should not take too long um, just a matter of seconds so just bear with me your deployment is complete go to resource so here is our log analytics workspace what you want to do is connect this to sentinel really add it to sentinel come here here it is test 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 add it it's adding it to sentinel so now test 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 is in microsoft sentinel yes what you want to now do is go to content hub click content hub and what you want to do is get the microsoft defender xdr data connector microsoft defender xdr here it is just so just install it should take a short time to install just bear with me again it's installing as you can see these should be fairly quick however when you're filming and when you're watching a, a, a video on youtube it feels particularly quite long but these are just seconds really this is it's a fast it's a fast install to be honest and if it does take <laughs> its time i will pause this video and that's what i may do no it's installed so as you see see it's installed manage really i don't usually do it like this i'll just go to i just go to fresh just give me a second so i just go to data connectors you will see it at data connectors you will see it right here microsoft defender xdr and it's not connected yet however so what you want to do is open connector page and what you want to do is enable it scroll down and just connect incidents and alerts um, just keeping it simple now you can of course add all of these um, alerts and so forth 
However, just keeping it simple just for this video. Um, so now that is that. And what you want to now do is go to security.microsoft.com and you will come to this and this is what it will look like once you enter and come to the home page you want to connect a workspace and you will see test test here as that's the, um, the workspace we created click next connect give it some time if it does take time too long i will pause this i will pause this now and come back oh see <laughs> every time i say that it loads so that is how you add microsoft sentinel to the microsoft defender xdr portal and you will see everything here microsoft sentinel let me just close it success um, workspace successfully connected close and what you usually do is see all the alerts and so forth here and you can just manage the alerts and and see everything from just one place thank you for watching this video if you want more videos like this um, please like and subscribe this will motivate me to create more content and um, just come up with ideas just to help you so please like and subscribe and go to my linkedin just search for carl feldman i will add my linkedin at my on the caption um, so go there and connect or follow me thank you for watching this video have a great day